Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So the video that you're about to see is an iPhone help video because one of the most popular videos on my channel is an iPhone help video. So I figured I'd do another one. Um, so make sure to leave a like if you do want to see more of these. And yeah, so I'll get to the video. Hello everybody, welcome to another iPhone video. I haven't done an iPhone video in quite a while, so I thought that I would do one. Because one of my most popular videos was an iPhone video. So what I'll be showing you today is how to add uh, home screen icons, kind of like you would do with Safari, except for open them in Chrome. So I've got the two apps right here. Um, and I use Chrome as my main browser because I find it better than Safari, and I use it on my computer. I can share tabs between the two. Uh, just last night, I saved a bookmark to my computer using the Chrome app, so it's pretty useful. Um, so it'd be nice to be able to have, um, you know, be able to have icons that open up Chrome from my home screen. But Safari won't let you change your default browser. So... Uh, app icons lets you, uh, it lets you change the icons of apps on your home screen. And it's got a list of apps that lets you do that. But then it's got the option called custom URL. And that's what we're going to be using to do this. So, um, I'm going to open up app icons and I'll show you what to do. Alright, so I've got quite a few icons here. Uh, just ignore those, they're just from other, other things that I've done. The thing that we want to look at is uh, we want to go over to create a new icon. We want to choose custom URL. So we're going to leave it at that for now. Then we're going to go into Chrome. And you want to go to your website that you want to add an icon to. So let's say I wanted to add an icon to YouTube.com. I'll add an icon to my... YouTube channel. So I want to go ahead and get that pulled up and it should bring you up with the site. So then you want to hold down, press select all and copy because you want the exact URL. Um, and then you want to go into app icons. You want to enter Chrome. Oops. Uh, and then you want to enter you want to copy and paste the URL into there and press done. So now you should have all that up there. Then you can name it. Oh man, just do my RT. And then you can choose the icon, do all that stuff, you know, same stuff as usual. Um, I also did a video a while back. Um, on how to do this. I'll leave a link down in the description uh, as long as I remember. And then um, you want to get rid, if we go all the way back here, before you do it you want to make sure you get rid of HTTP because we want it to say Chrome. Chrome is taking the place of HTTP and the reason for that is HTTP tells it that it wants to open it up in our browser we don't want to do that, we want to use Chrome to go to that address. So just press done. Then you can press done, and it says unable to create uh, icon. And it looks like I did something wrong. Alright guys, so you actually need to put Google Chrome. I think they changed the URL scheme. Um, so we're just going to go back to the beginning here, and we're going to add Google onto that. Because that's the new URL scheme that they use. And now you're ready to add it. And it should come up, and you'll be back at the screen. Then you want to click on Save. And install. Install now. 
like done. It should open up Safari and app icons, and then you can back out. And what do you know? We've got an icon, and it says my YouTube. But does it open up my YouTube channel? Of course it does. Except for not my YouTube channel. Um, so I think that might be a thing with mobile YouTube because I have definitely uh, gotten this to work before. Um, I've made quite a few mistakes in this video, but I'm going to get this up. And it works with, you know, regular websites. Um, so usually you don't want to go to a specific URL. Uh, then you can use bookmarks for that. But it does work. Um, and they probably changed it in this update to where it won't go to certain um, certain parts of the website but it's still uh, useful and yeah so hopefully you enjoy this even though um, I was wrong about part of it but that's fine um, it still works still brings me YouTube and I can open anything I want in Chrome because I like Chrome better than Safari. So, that's about it for this video. Um, if you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later.